Hi everyone, welcome. I've been thinking about what next herbal plant I'd like to showcase. And I really was debating between like three of them and my volunteer Mullen kept calling to me. And that makes sense because right now I am working with Mullen Root personally. I have been going through a couple months of re-injuring a rotator cuff injury and uh, that includes PT and an upcoming MRI to see if it's still mild or moderate hair, but it is causing me grief. And it's not allowing me to do the deep garden work that I like to do. I've got help, thankfully. And uh, mullen is the plant of the day. So I want to say welcome. I'm Cindy and I'm with Cindy Sacred Garden. And this is mullen. Now I'm going to bring you on down here to give you a better view. My video stopped recording while I was harvesting uh, over at this other area. So I am going to take you over to the volunteers and just kind of weed out before I do a little harvest of our mullein root. And then I will take us somewhere and talk about it because I am in the sun and the heat of the day. I ask permission from the plant because it is medicine that I'm asking to harvest that's going to be used um, to help others. And that's what plants provide for us is the healing. They were here before we were. This is medicine. And you always want to ask permission or give thanks or honor. Let me just turn that right there. So as you can see, this is the mullen. I've got plenty of volunteers first year. I want the root. So this is pretty easy. There's rocks in here. So I'm going to just kind of move the top layer of dirt around this particular mullen. And show you how it's done. And here we are. I took myself into the shade. The sun was definitely hot and I was happy to sit at my table and bring it here for you. Take my shoes off, get comfortable, sit at the table together and have table talk about mullein root. Now, as I mentioned um, earlier that I usually wait till the middle of July, end of July, before I start harvesting, even into August, depending on how big your mullein gets. The bigger the leaves, the bigger the root. And so as you can see right here, here is the mullein root. And these become really large. So that's, I always consider this like the hair of the root. So these are the runners and they attach to other runners and that's why you'll see a whole bunch of mullein in one little area as this grows down and new roots come off, which forms new volunteers, new mullein um, of the mullein plant. And so I, I, I'll have to go back and watch the other videos because my camera stopped, but I'm just gonna go over this and, and talk about it in detail. So the mullein root, grows straight down into the ground, right? This is the beginning of the plant. This is where all the medicine is in the first year. And the second year, it is in very large leaves of a huge stalk with tiny little flowers that you have to pick every day. And I love doing that. They open up once every day. So then I harvest and I make 
Molinier oil with that. The leaves are used like in our cough and congestion tea. So I utilize the whole entire plant. I make sure that I remember which one's our first year. And it's called a biennial, but it's, I don't know if it's really a true biennial. However, it's how it acts. So the first year, it's just leaves and roots. Second year, le the roots, leaves, stalk, and flowers. But in the second year, all the medicine is up the stalk. So that's when we don't harvest the roots. Those seeds get planted back into the ground and you start all over the journey again. So every year I'll have first year and second year. So the root medicine is just like um, our, our spine. At the end of the spine, the sacral part of our spine, it is centered into the ground. And it sends everything up straight, which means this is a really good indicator for me and the teachings that I have learned about mullein root is anything spinal, especially the nervous system um, that runs off of our spine that like sciatic, a nerve gets pinched. So you want to have mullein root to help bring down the inflammation around that pinched nerve so that it can go back into its original place, whether that original place was, um, whether that original place is still out of place, it is still releasing that pain of the nerve being twisted. And so that can become a chronic issue. And I know a lot of people who use our mullein root and find out three to five days later that especially in the lower running down the back, um, the butt, down the legs, that they can find that they're able to walk again. In my case, my nerves up here and my shoulder are pinched and I can feel it running all the way down here. So I'm on the mullein root to reduce the inflammation to allow that nerve to not be pounding and in pain constantly. I take the mullein roots that I harvest and they get put into a brandy I make a tincture with it. I like to do the dark because that's where the roots grow and I feel like it imparts a stronger tincture. It's just my view, that's all. It's not a book or, you know, I went to school to learn how to make tinctures. It really truly is the teaching of the plant to me and what it's looking for. So it's a connection and the honor that I'm giving this plant and what it's showing. So mullein root is fantastic. It will help uh, cleans, um, keep the kidneys um, cleansed. So in your lower back where you would have sciatic issues, your kidneys are constantly being stressed by the pain and inflammation. So I'm on this daily. I take it in the morning and at night, in the morning in my coffee and at, with tea at night. And that's, that way it dissipates the alcohol and I'm not getting any residue from the alcohol. I'm getting pure medicine. So this is a first year mullein. And I, you know, since I started working with it and working with others with it, and even teaching as I teach herbal schools, a lot of uh, folks have no idea the value of this root and to harvest only first year. So that's probably my biggest teaching here is if you're already harvesting, um, just to note, do the first year and save a couple so that you have them as buy-in so that the second year they'll flower for you for the rest of the medicine you need. I will link our mullein root tincture um, in the description here, but it's amazing guys. It's one of the best medicines that I can use right now during um, this pain that I'm going through and working through rebuilding muscles that uh, I've been protecting. So I don't want surgery. I'll do this first. And if all else fails, I'll have to look at that. So this is mullein root. And I wanted to mention something since I'm here. Joyce and I put together, we decided grab and go big. What is the most essentials 
that you need that you can carry anywhere you want in your car in your backpack um, for essentials like immediate and I got the bag right here and I'm going to tell you the first thing I'm going to grab out of it so this will go wherever I want to go I'm going to there's a cute little <coughs> excuse me <coughs> mini uh, sunscreen which I applied before I came out 30 S SPF uh, I've talked about it you all know it's mineral rich and it's safe for the environment and you but right now I have got the calming rosemary. So after being out in the sun, my face is sweaty and hot and I'm gonna cool it down with some nice calming rose, vitamin C. Oh, that feels so good. It's refreshing, it perks the skin back up. It's revitalizing, it's hydrating. So that comes in this little my guys this is only going to be available for a short time and we put it in this kit because i have enough to do this but you are loving the deodorant i just gave one away last week right here on youtube and a pet it's 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 so amazing check it out if you don't want the grab to go big because these will be off our website probably within the next two weeks and everybody loves our natural deodorants. I'm only gonna do them for short periods of time as a seasonal product, and it's gonna come out. Um, and calamine lotion, you know what? I broke out with a zit. I don't get them. <laughs> I'm just clarifying there that I dabbed calamine on it and to dry it out. Must be from excess heat, sweating, um, that I'm going through with being out in the gardens. And so this also works for poison ivy, oak, sumac, bug bites, rashes, amazing. And let's say I have this in my car and I quick ran from the garden, washed my hands and I gotta go meet someone. My hair is looking whew. I love the nettle horsetail hair serum. This is the mini, but it's perfect. You only need one or two drops, rub it in your fingers, quick tame your hair down, and go. Has um, a scent similar to the chamomile and uh, geranium, so it refreshes, you smell great. Joyce brought up something about that as well too, so I'll mention that. You, if you, if you just want a quick fresh before you walk in and you have this out in your car, it's like a solid body butter. You could just apply a little here and maybe a little here just to freshen up how you smell. So this grab and go is on sale. It retails, I think, $36 and you can get it for $30 or free if you order $125 uh, during our sale this weekend. I will also link that here if you're interested in this. So thank you. Uh, give so much gratitude that you are coming into my herbal classroom, which is outdoors. And I've got much more to showcase to you. I look forward to this friendship that we are developing and allowing me to teach you um, in person, right here, not through a book, and get to learn a little more deeper information that you may not find. So I welcome you to come back. Thank you if you're new. Thank you if you're a subscriber or willing to hit the subscribe button. All right, everyone, have a blessed day.